They'll be calling you a radical. A lot of stuff to cover on Fukushima. The posture and groom machine is the Chernobyl playbooks in full flight as the mainstream media is playing their game. Let's talk about 14, to pair of 7, 7, 7, 14 on the fact of the scale. Oh, this is raised to a 3, uh, CNN. Rachel Maddow's Lonnie Clark's named her Tokyo Rose, which boy is she. But you got to remember, she works for General Electric. As Aaron Burnett used to work for our, they're, they're all the same thing. But let's talk about this first off before I go off on this and we talk about this information, my walk, a lot of different things to cover here. First off, sometimes we take certain people for granted because they are so great. And we just say, people, somebody said to me the other day, how can you never talk about Helen? And I don't talk about Helen enough, Caldecott, because she's the greatest. I mean, she's the greatest of our time, bar none. She's amazing. She's incredible. I mean, her delivery, her knowledge, her hard work, everything that she is, I mean, thank you. Thank you so much. And to all the info mixers, everybody says, oh, Kevin, you're radical. That's all fine. Fine. So what? You don't have to listen to me. Jan, Miss Mookie the Clown, Missing Sky, Pink, Joni Ray, Dave Parrish, by the way, what a great voice that guy has. I mean, amazing. So many of them have these great... As somebody, there's a video circulating around now made, some guys made about Edison, you know, wanting not solar panels. Remember this, Joni Ray and I, I was very sick at the songs hearing. We went over to the San Onofre reactor and we exposed that incredible, which I think is so historical, that video her and I made put up that night. And I says, look at the top of the light poles in the employee parking lot at San Onofre. She's like, what? And I says, they're solar panels. But anyway, to the scale, 7714. Just by, to people that don't know what I'm talking about, the IEA, the World I Want to Kill You organization, the World Health Organization, the UN, they are the nuclear industry. This was, I can get really deep into this. This is complex when they hijacked the whole apparatus in the 50s and they completely have pulled this as cancer is killing my estimates right now in North America Fukushima is killing right around a thousand people a day. People can argue all they want with me as think about this. Now who sets a scale at seven? Who set I mean it's malice by intention. It's malice from the inception. I mean it is intentional deceit. I mean they are playing out. That's the definition of malice. Who sets a scale at seven? We all know one to ten is scales. We all know. So here's the gig. What they're playing, they're going right out of the Chernobyl playbook. Here's where we go. Oh, this was a seven, Fukushima. Oh, and it went all the way down to one. No, oh, it's a three. So automatically you think, oh, three, three. You know? People think, oh, she's a three, he's a three, that's a three, what's a three? You know, it's a five, it's a seven, it's an eight, it's a nine, it's a ten. As I they say, three elevens, the counter opposite of nine eleven. As I get admitted to the bone marrow transplant, eleven, eleven, eleven. Wow, three elevens. As my two little grandsons were born within days at Fukushima, two nursing mamas, and you know, in Aaron Burnett's, you know, the beautiful young woman from Japan who actually went in there. I didn't know this until I saw this. Jan did this incredible video. By the way, what brilliant! Thank you, Jan, for all your hard work. You were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You are amazing. Your work. So many of these info arts are amazing. They're as we do work without wealth as they get wealth without work. She said she was nursing a baby. I didn't know that. I'm like, she should have her baby taken away. You know, the baby calves, you know, my father, the atomic veteran, you know, they're named after him. I think the irons are amazing as, how can they set a scale at seven and then they play? Okay, let's say their scale is seven. We'll play their game. It stayed at a seven the whole time. I cannot overemphasize this. And I, I mean, this is so important. This is so important. As people in the United States think, oh, there are no studies out there. No Americans have participated. Now, think about the statistical probability. And I say this over and over. You're tired of hearing it from me. But I have to hammer it. The marine biologists, we have no study saying yeah or nay. You know, I mean, we, we have to rely on this propaganda whore at Stony Brook. These, you know, I mean, the few people that don't, I mean, the studies are there. International teams went over. I presented them. The biosciences presented them all over Europe. There's plenty of them. The study, June 2011. Multiple scientists on one of their studies. I mean, these are multiple deals. They're out off of Fukushima, 40 miles out. 
They're dropping down their test samples. They use three test samples. They're down 300 meters. Their words. I'll post it right here. One of the samples showed three times the background. Now, background means the bikini bomb, which was all over them. We can get into that. Nuclear fault is accumulated. We're all born with bikini bomb in us. We're all born with freaking Los Alamos in us. We're all born with the Nevada test site in us. We're all born with Chernobyl in us. Now, you know, the children are born with Fukushima in us. Fukushima is piling on. Fukushima is the greatest. Cancer rates were increasing. Survival rates. Survival rates for 20-something consecutive years until Fukushima. Now they're declining. The cancers are stronger. They're more aggressive because it lays in the bone marrow. Understand this, the Fukushima fish hook that's been in me. You know, this... Utah smiley face, Carol Gallagher, the Chernobyl necklace. These treatments are hardcore, and these cancers, and this is all cancers. This is not just leukemia. These cancers are aggressive. These cancers can kill you in days. I mean, that's where people make the mistake and they can't wrap their mind around this. But anyway, back to the columns. Set above the background thing. One, three times more plutonium. That's enough to scare the bejesus out of you right there. Second one, 30 times. Third one, 1,000 times. In their conclusion, they say that the nuclear fall is into the current. That was June of 2011. Those are the European scientists, and these are teams. These are whole teams. Now, do you think that's crazy? As Barack, as I say, Barry Antoinette, as I voted for him, what's the alternative on the other side? Think about these. You know, what I, I will never vote for a Republican, no matter what, the rest of my life after that. They stole the election and the Dick Cheney doctrine. By the way, Barack Obama really is Dick Cheney's freaking cousin. I love how, oh, he's African American. There's nothing freaking black about him. He says in his own freaking book. He never even really interacted or even hardly even seen an African American until he moved to L.A. He was raised by a white, older bank examiner in Hawaii. Please. You know, head of Harvard Law. Yeah, real black. There's nothing black about him. He knows nothing about the urban city. He knows nothing. I mean, he probably knows about as much as I know about it. I grew up in Utah, the nuclear fallout capital of the world. Jim McCarthy, head of Radnet. You don't know what Radnet is, look up Radnet. Radnet, and a person, Kim Boy, as it goes by the same, says, if I was younger, I'd be out there. Young people did go out there. Look around, go to Troy Livingston's Facebook page, Shane Russell, freaking Tony, all of them, you know, Patrick Henry, there's some, Marine Burke, Patty Davis, Gene Stone, I can go on and on, this army of a hardcore, incredible, incredible wealth without work, pure fighters that have told this tale in a freelance way. We've took on the greatest machine ever. We did it. Radnet crashed. Oh, with a wink and a nod. Now she's head of the EPA. Ernest Moxie Fuel, head of the DOE, Department of Energy, Department of Energy, which is the evil cartel. They are TEPCO. Understand this. The treaties were signed after World War II. The United States runs the show over there. Period. As Putin, they're saying, oh, we've been asking international. And Russia says, we've been offering help from day one. Yeah, the United States won't let them in. Expose the whole nuclear monster thesis that is. This is the United States of General Electric. This is the United States of Westinghouse. If you don't believe me, ask Hillary Clinton. In her in the primary, she went after Obama saying that they're propped up by the nuclear energy. Of course, she falls for it too. Her last duty as Secretary of State. Do not forget this. Her last duty in Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia was going to build a plant. She told them to pull the contract with the Russian firm and or the French firm and give it to Westinghouse. She uses the word Westinghouse. Remember, this is the Secretary of State promoting a so-called company, a publicly traded company. I thought, you know, talk about separation. Wow, we have none of that either. As the religious leaders preach from the pulpit, kill, 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 kill. As I was talking to young people today, some young so-called Christian know who Megan Rice is. It's just what people do. They take on a cause with no background, with no education. You know, it's like all these armchair doctors come to me. I get hundreds of them a day, cure-alls. I've been RCM squared three times, so hard, so hard. I got an excuse now, chemo brain. And Thomas Ackerman, too, his incredible art that he's working on, wow, wow, as he's been painting in this genre so hardcore. I mean, talk about a hard worker. That dude is. I mean, these people are hard workers. The true tell has been told. In fact, this has been a seven the whole time, right? There's still, I call it breaking the 11. Two 11s is three 11s. It happened on 311. I can. Sit in the bone marrow at 11, 11. I mean, Cassandra, you can't make this shit up. It, it's unbelievable. It, I mean, it's so hard to wrap your mind around. How can this be so conspiratorial? But I'll tell you what gave me hope. As Jan remixed this, as Einstein says, I don't know what we'll fight World War III with, but we'll fight 
World War IV with sticks and stones, talking about the nuclear thesis. Will, I got into an argument with an ex-student of mine who's not much younger than me, brilliant person, and he couldn't wrap his mind around the fact that nuclear fallout does not dilute. I said, yeah, it does dilute. 24,500 years and a half by plutonium, plutonium. Plutonium is a man-made gig. It doesn't exist naturally in there. It lays in your bone marrow. You're born with Chernobyl in you. You're born with the Nevada test site in you. You're born as Einstein said. Will we evolve? Yeah, over hundreds of years. Tell that to the 1,000 people a day that are dying from Fukushima a day. Go into a bone marrow. Tell that to the young 23-year-old woman who's dying today. I've watched it in my face. In my face. As, you want to talk about my background? Let's talk about my background. People say, oh, Kevin's over the top, whatever. One, I grew up autistic with an atomic veteran father, drill sergeant father. Boy, you're way too pretty opinion. Shut up and get the fuck to work, you know? I knew what he meant. As anybody who's been in the military or the Marines, they know what drill sergeants are. That's why they think they love them so much. It's the poetry of anger. I mean, they be barking at you one minute, freaking, and then the same smile coming out of the other side of the face. The most loving people in the world. That was him. He was nuked. Hardcore. Drafted. That thing. Semper Fi as they get. My other uncle started on my beach on D-Day. These people all knew. I grew up in Utah. In Utah. Our school district was so progressive here. We were the first school district in America to celebrate Earth Day when I was a boy. This, my second grade teacher was the Secretary of uh, Education's wife. I mean, we had incredible dynamic. This place was amazing that way. This was Ground Zero, literally, American Ground Zero. Kel Gallagher came here. Wallace Stegner came here. Edward Abbey, I knew Edward Abbey through my father-in-law. They, they used to drink like animals together. I mean, all anybody who was anybody in the world who freaking wanted to expose this and fight this monster landed here in Utah. They were all here when I grew up. I mean, they were all right here. I mean, I knew Scott Madison, our governor, passed from about my age of this evening. Downwinders, down, we all knew what a downwinder. As people forgot, plutonium didn't forget. Well, I grew up in this thesis, okay? My father dies of leukemia in the prime of his life, the atomic veteran. I fought for the atomic veterans. Fought for them. These people mentored me. Stegner mentored me. Abby mentored me. My father mentored me. Carol Gallagher was such, you know, this, she's, by the way, she's alive and well in Colorado. You know, this was a major thesis here, major subject matter here. We all knew as we forgot. Of course, then Fukushima happens. And I tell the tale in exact, incredible detail, then I get leukemia. On 11, 11, 11, I'm going to say, I went from 170 pounds to 100, like that. I was in perfectly good health. As people have known, they've watched this fight. I got RCM squared three times. That's the hardest core chemo of any human being. I got up one morning, you could see the pigments in my eyes. I mean, I went with days and days. I mean, wow, if people had any clue what people go through in those things, I don't know how I live. I really don't know how I live. It was horrific. It's an evil horror. I mean, I was almost dead like that. I mean, that's how quickly it attacks you. As so many of you have watched, people, you know, our beautiful friends and our beautiful group, so many of them that I have been close with in that hospital and friends that, you know, we're a little family. I've watched die over and over and over and over and over. PhD? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. My knowledge on this is impeccable. Try me. I mean, literally. Literally. The scale from 7 to 3, this is right out of the Chernobyl playbook. The scale being set at 7 and not a 10 scale is malice by definition. It's been a 7 the entire time by there. I call it, it broke the scale. 11, 11. Chernobyl broke the scale. It's a cumulative. It's killing a 1,000 people a day is my estimates in North America, right now, right now, right here, not going to, not will, and my walk is going to be simply a walk because it's like a cancer support group. I understand that it's hard to wrap your mind, it's scary, scary shit, because oh, there's nothing to do with kiss your ass, bullshit. As Putin said about Snowden to the United States, it's kind of like shearing a pig, you're not going to get much wool. Russia's tried to go in. U.S. runs the show over there. USS Reagan. I mean, talk to those guys that are home. Talk to the freaking name. This is the house of cards that's going to pull out from underneath. And I'll tell you how I could tell. Erin Burnett is a brilliant young woman. She was obviously CNBC. As that guy scoffed at cancer. Remember her partner? He scoffed at overweight, laughed. He'd just talk about junk food, Cheetos on his chair. You know, I was a traitor. Watch her. He laughed, laughed. He got up one day, boom, his heart. Just like Obama and Biner have a cigarette together. There versus Uncle Tom. As I call him, Barry Antoinette, let them eat yellow cake. As... 
Rat. Ratnet. Gina McCarthy is head of the EPA now. It's re I mean, she rewarded for failure. It didn't work. We went out. There are plenty of freelancers. We have the data. Go to Troy Livingston's Facebook page. Go to Tony. To Patrick Henry. Go to these guys. It's there. Go to, there's plenty of us. We fought and we did this. This has been a seven the whole time. I call it 11 the whole time. It's never backed out. They're poshing and grooming you as... Rachel Maddow, as we've called her, we named her Tokyo Rose. She really is Tokyo Rose now. That's Lonnie Clark named her that. It's perfect. She's Tokyo. The whole media, the Uncle Tom media. I could tell in Aaron Burnett's eyes and her face, you could tell that it got to her. And she gets it. She's like, I don't care what my producers are telling. I don't care what the CEO board says. She's like, whoa, this is scary shit. Yeah, that's, it is scary shit. And this is why it's going to be the card that brings this house of cards and this sucked up 1% bullshit. The one, because these are, video killed the media stuff. This is going to come apart because they can get cancer and they know they can get cancer. This could kill, this, there's no hiding. I don't care if you're the richest. And people say, oh, they can say, tell that to Steve Jobs. One of my doctors was one of Steve Jobs out here. He had multiple transplants. They threw the kitchen sink at him. Billions and billions of dollars. There's no hiding. Our walk is going to be so we can have conversations and understand there's others out there. It's going to be like a cancer support group. Live like you have cancer before you have cancer. Understand. This scale is a scam. As Chad Myers, polio meteorologist, comes on there, do the math on what he said about the tanks. If his math's correct, this is what the scam is, that means there's 9,000 tanks over there, which we know they're at. They've been pouring into the Pacific the whole time. As I listened to the translation on 12, 12, 12, 12, Makata translated in the public hearings, and they admitted right on 4-3 that they started dumping into the Pacific man. The studies are out there. The, Pluton the, the Pacific is lit up like a Christmas tree. So don't fall for this shit. A three, a seven, a seven, a three. And, you know, you want to talk to me, you call me up on the phone, you want to do an interview with me, if you need it for your vlog, you need it for whatever, I'd be more than happy to, I'll do anything I can for any of you. And to all the info fighters, you know, all of you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you. Stay on tuning.